In this video, I'm going to walk you through a Java program that was part of my TCS and both Sogin Interview Plan 1. This program is a great way to deepen your understanding of Java Stream API and collections. Whether you are a beginner or a professional, knowing how to use the group by method with Stream API is essential. Let's dive into it. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. There are two similar programs with different contexts. Let's begin with the first one. The first question talks about find repeated words in a given sentence and count the repetition using only stream API collection in Java. So we aim to identify repeated words within a given sentence. What is the sentence here? This is a sentence. Today is this is a sunny 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 day. Today, today is a sunny. Let's put that in a string. We will copy this string. STI is our variable, and we are going to determine the frequency of each word occurrence here. To achieve this, we need to group the words in a sentence and then count. Them. So the initial step involves splitting the sentence into individual words and storing them in a list. So for that, we have to use split method. So let's create a list, which is a string. Let's take a variable called words. And now we are going to use arrays. As we already have a sentence, we can just push into that list using as list method. So here we have the string and str. So with str, if we split, so split is a method. So split split, if you add the parameter, so in the parameter you can add the delimiter. What is delimiter? How you're going to split the sentence. It can be dot, it can be Python, it can be space. So we know that there can be space in sentence. So we will use space. So if you add space and if you understand this whole statement, you will see today is is will split in one single array where you will see each word are stored in each list. So you have a list of words like this. So now come back to the logic building where we subsequently utilize Java Stream API to process the list of words. So we will use words and with that what we will add stream API and we will also use collect method. Inside collect method, you can add more method to filter or you can transform your word. Collection, in that collection, you can use collectors dot grouping by. As you can see, with stream, you have to import certain things. First, we are going to import, which we missed, is Java util. And under util, we get also list. You can also have arrays on other thing and then you tell just after you tell you have stream api so on that stream you will get connection collector all the others abstract classes that's why we need those imports so now come back to grouping by will have a parameter what is the order of your list so first we will short it down we will short by making it all in lower case so, so if you make it in lower case your list will be alphabetic order plus in lowercase string semicolon semicolon to lowercase which is a method reference to string lower class the next parameter we are going to do is to count that counting is another method which is under collector's interface so counting if you add in the, another parameter you can see your each word has how many sequence it will automatically list down for you so now we understood what we are going to return. So we are going to return two things. One is the string, another is the log. So if you add a map string and long and the word count is my variable. So this whole will tell me what is my each word and with frequency. So now displaying the word, how to do that? You can demonstrate use of group by and collection using stream VPN. 
we employ the entry set method to extract this a set comprising the same element present in the hash map with this set you can leverage the stream api our initial step involves eliminating non repeated words and we accomplish this by applying the filter method and examine get value to identify count greater than 1 if you exclude the duplicate value like in this example so there are many repeated word but there is only one word which is day which is coming one time so that will be not part of your list to conclude we present the repeated word along with the respective count for that we are going to use system dot out print ln inside that we are going to print key value and the value of the key with call rule now if you execute this program you see word with the frequency you will observe your words are in low keys and each word have their peak frequency but the frequency which is less than 2 or 1 is not included in this list if you are able to execute i hope you do so in your interview then please explain your approach i know there are multiple way to approach this program but this is one of the way with stream api so let's move on to next example the next program is to find repeated numbers in a given array and count their repetition using java stream api and college the scene is very similar but only difference is it's a number so we have a numbers given which is 2 5 8 2 11 5 so how we are going to figure out i guess you already know that the answer is basic because of the similar program you can use the same code as it is but you have to tweak this for integer first we have to store that in a list of array for that you can use the same but here using array list with integers number is our variable arrays as list you can put or you can store door value here copy paste in logic building so list can directly use a string so you can use string api then on that add collect under collect method you can use group by clause using collectors collectors dot grouping by so before proceeding let's import all the modern things first put java dot util all the util like array list and then import java util string under stream we will get collector collections all of those so inside grouping by method you can have multiple so in the previous we had used stream to lower case but we don't know what to use here so you can make sure that all are digit to make that you can use get int value next is collectors to count those each number so this is whole set of logic so we also know that get return of this value one is the integer another is the log so always count returns long value so number count is our variable here next we have to display our number count same like the previous program we have to make sure that number count is a map get the set of element using entry set on entry set you can use stream api the first is to extract only which is more than what same like we will use num dot get value which is greater than one then display using for each loop inside for each loop directly display using system order dot print element and here you display the key and value i forgot to mention adding greater than one so let me include that now let's run this program so uh, we have encountered a type mismatch error the array as list method gives us a view of the array as a list let's make the array list as list now let's run the code again and 
observe the output we have executed this program we will see the frequency of each which is this is the pen 2 and 5 in summary java stream api and collections offer a powerful solution for identifying and counting repeated words or number within your data i hope this explanation proves to be informative i recommend to check out other videos thanks for hanging out with me i am nothing the not and you have been chilling with bit science thank you for your attending and happy coding